If you hate writing dialogue and don't know how to make it read naturally, then I'm here to help. Because today, I'm discussing how to elevate your dialogue in five simple ways. Let's get started. Hey guys, Noor here, and welcome back to my channel. For those visiting for the first time, hello! I'm the fantasy author of the novel Divinity Falling. Be sure to subscribe for weekly writing advice videos. Before we start talking about dialogue, I just want to mention really quick that we finally hit our first goal on Patreon. We reached our monthly $150 goal, and I'm very, very thankful to all my patrons, so I just wanted to say thank you. To celebrate reaching this goal, I'll be hosting a contest next month on Patreon, and the winner will receive a signed copy of my book plus a t-shirt from my merch store. So if you would like to join this contest and support me, be sure to check out my Patreon. And since I plan on doing a book analysis video in a couple of weeks, I'll be sharing that journey and what the behind the scenes look like over on Patreon. So without further ado, let's talk about how to elevate your dialogue. Tip number one, don't use characters' names in dialogue too much. In real life, we don't say each other's names too much when we're talking to each other. We don't go, hi Noor, how are you doing Lisa? I'm doing great Noor. You get the gist. In fact, we only say each other's names to get the other's attention. So it's very unnatural when characters start saying each other's names too much in dialogue. Instead, only have them say each other's names when it really matters. Like if they're trying to get the other character's attention. Or maybe there are several characters in the room, but they're specifically calling out a specific character. Other than that, avoid using character names too much in dialogue. Tip number two, write the way people speak, bad grammar and all. After all, people don't always talk in complete sentences. They often shorten their thoughts and use slang. Instead of saying, are you okay, a casual character might say, you okay? Of course, not every character will be casual, and they shouldn't be. So not every dialogue sentence needs to be incomplete. Not everyone talks with perfect grammar, and not everyone talks with poor grammar. For instance, one character might say, I seen her yesterday, instead of, I saw her yesterday. So listen to how people speak and implement that into your writing. Tip number three, don't make all characters sound like you, the author. I always I always think about John Green when I think about this dialogue tip. It's not that John Green's writing is bad, in fact, I really think it's great, but I often feel like his characters all sound like him. What do I mean by that? Well, they're all philosophical. Every single character has some sort of philosophical thing to say about life. They all sound deep and like they've been thinking about the world for so long. So to me, they all sound like little versions of John Green. But you don't want that for every single character. Not every character should be philosophical, and not every character should think about life. Some characters might be silly, while other characters might be deep. Because when everyone talks the same, they lose personality. So make sure your characters don't all talk like you. Tip number four, don't go over board with dialogue tags. Dialogue tags are tags that indicate who's speaking, such as he said, I said, she asked, but you also don't want to keep saying he said, she said, he said too many times in a row. Keep these tags to a minimum and use characters' actions to indicate who's talking whenever you can. For example, you could write the following. Jenny grabbed the newspaper. I can't believe the news! She scrutinized the photo on the front page. We know Jenny is talking here without using a dialogue tag because we're relying on actions. And tip number five, read your dialogue lines out loud to see if they sound natural. This is pretty simple. If you read them out loud, do they sound the way someone would actually speak? Or do they sound odd, like the character is vocally writing an essay? So yeah, just read them out loud and see how they sound. So that's all I have for you today. I'd love to know, what's your least favorite thing about writing dialogue? And what's your favorite thing about writing dialogue? Let me know in the comments. And really quick, I just want to mention that I'm currently working on some new merch and I just want your opinion. What kind of writing merch or channel merch would you be interested in? Would you like stickers, t-shirts, backpacks? Let me know what you're interested in. Also, is there something specific you would like to see in my merch store? Maybe something referencing my channel or writing in general? Let me know, I'm really curious. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe because I put out weekly writing advice videos that will take your story to the next level. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media to see what I'm up to from day to day and to chat with me. And before we go, I just want to give a quick shout out to Sarah Frain, Alan J. Early, Noah Quavanti, and Rolanda Jabri for my shout outs here over on Patreon, as well as all my amazing patrons. Thank you all so, so much for your support. I really, really appreciate you. And remember, nor for presidents.